Hey everyone, this is Ben here again, and now and I'm now going to be doing another comparison video, in which I'm now going to be comparing two different versions of radio. Because as you know, I got the DVD earlier today, as because I did do the update, and I had mentioned in the middle of my video that I will be doing a comparison video of radio, so I'm going to do it right now to get it out of the way, so I can do more stuff during the day. But anyways, I'm going to do it now. Is anyways on the left is the 2004 VHS, and on the right is the 2004 DVD. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, this here, this is the VHS that I got uh, many times back. It stars Cuba Gooding Jr. and Ed Harris. His courage made them champions. A definite must for the entire family by Bonnie Lauder of Tribute TV. So yep, inspired by a true story. Here's the side, the other side, the top, and the back. A triumph by Earl Dortman of Wireless Magazine. And hold on, I'm trying to get this in focus. You can't really see the thing well. This is Gooding's Most Artful, Most Accomplished Portrayal by Gene Shalit. Today's show and Radio is a Treasure by Roger Ebert of Chicago Sun-Times. So, yep. Yeah. But for what I know, based on the reviews, the, these reviews, I know this film mostly got, like, mixed reviews, but majority of them are negative, but... But the film, it looks pretty decent, so I might maybe sit down and watch it to see what I think of it. Of course, it's based on a true story, so that's probably why, but here's the sticker label. It's a later printing because it has the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment logo on the label, while on the box art, it has the Columbia TriStar logo, and also on the opening of this tape. It's still good for what it is, but here's the label, and there's no print date. And this copy of radio does not have previews on it at all. Um, cause I, I put it in like many times back and it has no previews on it. It just has the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo and then the blue PG rating screen, the FBI, FBI warning screen, the surround sound logo, the format screen, the Columbia Pictures logo, the Revolution Studios logo, and then the film. Of course, yes, I think, yeah, most copies of this pretty much don't have previews on it, but I know... Some users, like Alan K, the VHS guy, his copy has previews, but my copy doesn't have previews, and I think most other YouTubers do, but it's alright. Still good for what it is. And finally, as you know, here's the DVD, which I got earlier today. Same critic reviews, taglines, and stuff. Here's the spine. And the back, same critic reviews, like I said, and for bonus features says director's commentary, deleted scenes, turning on radio, the 12-hour football games of radio, writing radio, and DVD ROM someone to lean on the story of radio. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. In my opinion, I think it I think it is. Here is now I'm going to show you this disc. Yep, that's what the, the disc looks like, which you can see Cuba Gooding Jr. as uh Robert Kennedy, I think that's what his name is, aka Radio. Radio is the nickname in the film that they gave him. So here's the chapter guide, and here's the back of other ads for other movies on DVD, including Rudy, Finding Forrester, Brian's Song, and Awakenings. Of course, I have Finding Forrester on VHS, and I did see a used copy of Rudy on DVD, but I didn't buy it though. Maybe next time I'll get it. If it's still there, hopefully, hopefully it might be, but, so yeah, there you go. That's my comparison of two different versions of radio, and I will see you again soon. We'll see what happens.